So we're in the greenhouse. And here we have tomato plants. And here we got some uh, some lettuce. Over there we got, I think it's a pumpkin. Maybe one or two pumpkins. You know, it's doing its thing. This, uh, I'm not getting anything out of this here for uh, tomatoes yet. There's a, these are way taller than I thought they were gonna get, to be honest with you. They're about my height now. So I figured these were gonna be maybe half this height, but they're just, they just don't stop growing. And anyway, uh, we're starting to put out some tomatoes. There's one there. These are two different species. One of them is uh, cherry tomatoes and the other half of them is uh, like normal sized tomatoes. Just watered them. They, look, they, they probably look a little bit uh, wilty right now, but I just finished watering them. I like, to, I like to hose them down just a little bit too, wash down the leaves and uh, I've got some recesses dug in between the plants so those things get filled up with water. These things are happy. Very happy. Moving along down to, uh, so I, you know, I try to keep busy. Keep it on top of the uh, the garden. Just got back from uh, a tour in the uh, Caribou and the Chilcotin. Dealing with forest fires. BC's on fire, folks. I mean, it's it's bad. It's, it's seriously bad. Anyway, I can't really talk about that, but uh, so I've been busy, you know, those are long days. Some of those shifts were 24, 36 hours. And uh, so it's kind of nice to be home again. But uh, you know, when you're, you're doing these things, you're trying to hold down a normal job to begin with. And you're, uh, what you're doing is you're, you're essentially sacrificing time with your family to do these, to run to the aid of others. I got a problem with weeds here, but uh, that's the way it goes. Got a real problem with caterpillars here on the cabbage. See that? So I got to find some kind of organic um, caterpillar spray. It's it's the white moths. A serious pain in the butt. Just chewing the crap out of my cabbage. Anyhow. So amongst all of this, holding down a regular job, and this is one of the reasons why, frankly you guys, I just haven't been making rifle chair videos of the quality and uh, and the length that I would prefer to do. It takes time to put, to put together a video, you know, for me it does, because I, uh, I like to have like at least notes instead of winging it like I am right now. But. You know, this, I'm not trying to make a video. I was, this is just a video, I guess, a channel update. This isn't a video. I don't, <laughs> I don't consider these to be rifle chair videos. But amongst all this other stuff that's going on, I got a problem. And it's also been taking up my time and strength, spiritual energy, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we had to... We were having water problems in our house. We moved in here in November, and we went through the winter, and it was cold. And uh, the house was, we are thinking, geez, we got some real insulation problems here. We are having major heat loss, and it was a cold winter. We are having damp problems. Uh, we got water coming in through our foundation wall. And so, you know, we, we had to bite the bullet, and we had to fix it, because we don't want to go through another winter like that. That's just the way it goes here in uh, northern Canada. You pay attention to stuff like, you know, why is our house so cold? Heating bills to the roof. And so we found, okay, we must have a water problem. So we're gonna dig out our foundation wall. We're gonna seal it. We're gonna, we're gonna put drain tile down. We did a test hole. We have no drain tile anywhere around our house. We're in, we're in heavy clay and we got water problems. So we dig out the foundation wall and we have a small segment of concrete wall, but the remainder is this. And this is a real problem for us. We're digging this out and they basically built this like you would build a patio. Now for some people in their homes, this is okay. But for up here, when you have perma, you know, not quite permafrost up here, but we certainly have movement up and down in our house. Lots of flexing, uh, issues with the doors because uh, they'll, you know, it won't jam, but they get, they get pretty tight. This should be a should be a four foot foundation wall sitting on top of a concrete footing. 
right? That's what our standards are here, and we don't have any of that. Now, they just put these concrete blocks in, and, uh, you know, all of the wood's rotten. It's damn sloppy. And uh, the people that put this in here had a, a beautiful, like a really fairly recently new um, concrete pathway going to the front entrance. And you can see right here where the concrete came up to, right? So this, uh, this whole area was covered. You would not be able to dig down here to do a foundation test to see what you got until you broke up all that beautiful concrete poured around the outside of the house. So we got, we got taken. And out here, it was the same thing. This is where the, the level of the dirt was. You can see the stain right here. This was all dirt. And in here, there's a huge flower bed and uh, clematis vine we had to pull out. But again, another way to hide the fact that there's no foundation wall. Now, this is where we did our test dig. We found this foundation wall. What the heck is this doing here? Just a little piece. So we figured that it was going to be like this for the, for the, uh, run the entire perimeter of the house. Well, we were sorely mistaken. All of this was, was pavement. I should say concrete. It's all been chipped up, brought out, disposed of, recontouring the driveway because we had water draining towards the house. So, <clears throat> now you know just what the heck it is I've been up to. And, uh, man, is it ever busy? And am I ever tired? All this stuff. It's uh, physically, <clears throat> spiritually exhausting. Trying to keep up sometimes, isn't it? But uh, the good news is that uh, in a few more days, the rifle chair family, we're going on holiday. We're going to go camping. Got the RV all set up. Um, put the supplies together slowly. You know, every day you just, you know, add a little bit more to the pile. Getting yourself ready to just, you know, pack yourselves and go. And uh, try to maximize the time that you have left. But in that time, when you go on a family vacation, Dad gets some personal time. Mom gets some personal time. The kids, well, we're all, they, it's all about them, isn't it? We're always sacrificing you know our, our time to make sure that they're okay and that they're having fun on a family vacation that's okay that's called being parent but uh, I intend to be out on a uh, an austere range some lots of logging around that area some fairly far remote areas that I can access and use and uh, I'll be doing that I'm gonna be taking the uh, VZ24 with me and we're gonna see what the heck that thing can do I really want to see. I've got some 198 grain full metal jacket boat tail, 8x57 Mauser made by Pervy. Got about 120 rounds of that. Cost me an arm and a leg, unfortunately. Welcome to Canada. And uh, I got some 179 full metal grain jacket reloads. Uh, some some formulations that I'm going to work out here in the next few days and just see. Okay, what is what 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 formula works with this rifle? And then just pump as much of that uh, ammunition out as I can for the re reloading components that I have and just uh, get set up to, to shoot some steel out at this uh, fairly remote location I'm going to with the family and see, see what this thing can do. I know I can shoot accurately out to 500 meters. We're talking about area shooting, right, with a C number four Mark one star, long branch, Canadian number four Lee Anfield. I mean, if if you're sitting around picking your nose at 500 meters and we're, you know, 500 meters apart, that Lee Enfield can do it. So, don't pick your nose. Anyway, that's right for signing off. Just a quick update. This is not one of my normal videos. This is not really a rifle chair video. This is just an update video. Uh, just to let you know that I'm still breathing, still living, still kicking, and we'll get back to it. Hopefully sooner than later. Cheers, folks. Right for Cheers signing off. And as always, Maple Leaf up.